you know, other groups, uh, when I visit them or uh, they visit our institution, they can show you 30 uh, data points on RVUs, um, but they, they don't have one chart on average length of stay, variable cost per case, average length of stay per individual physician, variable cost per physician, their average length of stay in uh, the different units. Um, also, um, we, we, we had to actually come up with new metrics, and, and these are metrics that have never been seen in the industry because we had to create them for our own needs. So, for example, some of the new metrics that we've created is discharge efficiency, uh, which is basically your average discharge uh, for the month divided by your average starting a census for the month. We've also, we're have also we starting to look at a very exciting uh, a metric, inpatient days per rounding team. So because we realized that uh, uh, a starting census really didn't capture the, the turnover, the admitting and the discharges because a, a, a physician could have a lower starting census, but they could be admitting and discharging more patients than uh, a, a physician that has a higher starting census. And, and you would think, wow, the, the, patient, uh, the physician with the higher uh, census is busier, and that might not necessarily be true. So we look at inpatient days per rounding team, and we're also looking at uh, cost per discharge. When you close the financial year, you go back to your CFO and, and you tell them how much was the cost of the program last year. Just completely for now, for the sake of argument, ignore the revenue cycle, you know, like how much do we get back, what was our, you know, payer mix, our billing, just the cost, you know, your salary, lab coats, secretary, uh, copier paper, uh, yeah, all the expense, including any subsidies, and basically divide that by the number of discharges. So that's basically your discharge, I mean, your cost per discharge. So. As our program has grown and we've seen almost the double the uh, number of patients over six years, our budget has increased significantly because we've had to hire more physicians. But on a unit basis, as a cost per discharge, we significantly drop the cost.